Rudy Pooty Tooty Too. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another mother effing episode of Grand Theft Auto The Sadako Chronicles. Last episode, um, we had actually reunited with our good friend uh, Tony Cipriani, did some missions with him and asked him. So now we're going to go ahead and continue with the video, um, in the Let's Play, I mean, um, we got a mission here. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Without further ado, let's go ahead. Judas Icariot. So, Salvatore clean house, huh? And now he's fixing up yours. It's all mine now, Tony. Those cocksucking Sendako's all been kicked out. Listen, I hear the Sicilians are trying to broker peace between the families. Sal's got some heavy up at his place right now. The thing is, he smells a rat. He wants someone to go up there and follow this guy, see where he goes. Hey, JD, it's me, Salvatore. The Sicilians went away, and now we can discuss the thing we were talking about. Come to my place. Alright, visit Salvatore Leone. I swear, the Salvatore in this game, I know it's AI, but... He sounds nothing like, like, uh, the original Salvatore. Completely, completely different voice. And I see that they're still using, um, cutscenes from Liberty City Stories. But we're gonna go ahead and see what Salvatore wants. Let's take a shortcut here. If you guys don't know, uh, I mean, it's not really a shortcut, but instead of having to take that, uh, that big dirt trail, you can just go this way. Instead of having to make all those turns and stuff. There we go. Ooh. Clean with the ride. Alright. Hey, you are already here. Glad to meet you. You haven't forgotten what we were talking about, right? Frank Sindaco. You want to get rid of him to destroy the Sindaco's operations in Portland. I keep that in mind. Glad to hear. If you will do that job, then I will guarantee soon you are going to become a made man. Respect from others, help and protection, and only one thing keeps you away from that. But there can be no way back. I will always be the target. One day it will be Sindako members trying to shoot me in the head. Ain't that fucking right? Sindako members? That's wrong, boy. The war with these punks will continue. There will be no one to threaten you. I'm a man of honor. I do legal business. And what about them? Heavy drugs, casinos? They will not be kept alive. We will win. We will do it together. Yes, Mr. Leon. I, I will help you. Where can I find Frank? Where might he be, huh? Try to find him at the gas station in Harwood. But hey, there is one more thing I will ask you to do. Bring me his wallet with his ID, Capiche. I want to be 100% sure he is dead. Good luck, JD. Huh. Salvatore is a big hypocrite. Why? Because... I'm, I don't. I think around this time or in GTA 3, he begins start. He begins to uh, start selling drugs in the neighborhood as well. And in San Andreas, he was uh, running a casino, so he's a bit of a hypocrite on that. But um, here we go. We're gonna approach the gas station here. Oh, if I can get a, get around. Oh man, how am I gonna break this? Or maybe I could just go this way. It's not. It's no big deal. We gotta take him out, take his wallet. Simple as that. Come on, come on, come on. Get up the hill. Bro, JD, come on, dude. Come on, push, 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 push. There we go. Hey, boys, look at him. That's JD. You bitch! Frank, Marcus, and Paulie were loving and respecting you. But you, you... Go away, you stupid fuck. No one out there wanted me to become a part of the family. It was all a fucking lie. But Salvatore is a different man. I've come for Frank Sindaco. Oh, shit. Alright, neutralize the gas station section. Okay. Just gotta make sure we don't get cops on us, too. There we go. I know you like it. You are not getting me alive. Oh, is he in a car? Oh, shit. Follow Frank Sindaco. Shit. 
I probably should have gotten a better vehicle. This one has a pop tire, and I'm not going to be able to steer it so good. Okay, cool. Come on. Get the hell out of the way. All right, there we go. We boosted ourselves up a bit. I might not be able to get him in this hunk of shit. Stay closer. I'm trying, I'm trying, but this vehicle isn't really the fastest. Oh, there we go. Got his ass now. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Dude, no, 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 no. to kill me just because he decided to get rid of you. What the fuck are you doing, JD? Dude, I need a car. what respect is, Frank. Okay, well, luckily he stopped. Kill Frank Sindaco. Thank the Lord. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Bro, get out of the way. Oh, shit. 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 There was a health bar over here. I might grab that. Hopefully, it doesn't fail me for running away. Why is it snowing? There we go. There we go. Good thing I saw that. Okay, it's just an Uzi and an SMG. Okay, whatever. I mean, and a bat. Oh, that's, that's him right there. Come on, kill him. There we go. Pick up his wallet. All right, cool. Got all of them. Bring the documents to Salvatore's place. That we can do. Aw, oh, man, don't you guys just love a good skip trip? Here we go. So you finished him? Yes, I have. I don't even think his body is going to get recognized. Excellent job. You have done a right thing. We have become a step closer to the destruction of the Sindaco family. You cannot think that it was a wrong move. Paulie and Marcus do not give a fuck about their partners. But you're through with them now. You will become a family member really soon. Meet with Tony and Mickey in the club. Alright, so let's head to the club, and this is where things take a turn. And the only reason I say that is because I play Liberty City Stories, and I know what happens. So, let's head there. Alright, you guys, here we go. This is going to be a big mission. Let's get into it. The Maid Man. Tony! It's all happening today. I'm gonna be a made man. Me! JD the Untouchable. <laughs> God help us all. I've waited a long time for this. It never would have happened without you, Tony. Hey, I'm crying over here. Come on. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? The ceremony's in Howard. All right, and of course we're gonna be playing as Tony like we were in um in Liberty City Stories. So I basically know how to do this mission. This is great. Oh shit! I slaved for the Sandakos for years. Nothing. Those bastards kept me down just cause a little I was blood in my veins. But Salvatore, God bless him, he don't let a little thing like that get in the way. Oh, Daddy, no! Here are the Sindakos. Take out the Sindakos before they whack JD. Okay. Hang on, let me park. Get out of the car. Get a gun strap. Let's wait for these buffoons to. Oh shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. 
Ah, shit, they're gonna blow up the freaking car. There we go. Ooh, I was so close to dying, too. Alright. It's pretty simple. Finally, I don't need to be a made man. Alright. And this is what happens to JD in the original game and this game. Hey, are we there? Uh, where's Salvatore? Tony, the first drink's on me. Act two, Nomad. So Marcus, JD was thinking he could become a part of the family. His Irish blood was to blame, but he didn't understand that. You still think he's a stand-up guy here, right? Right, Polly? Hmm? Huh? He killed my brother, Polly. Marcus, Frank died for our common cause. You gotta be prepared for things like these when you live such a life. Our common cause, when your relatives die. Our job is not about swimming in a pool of champagne. We are not invincible. When Johnny died, I understood. You can never stop. Frank's body wasn't even found. I cannot visit his grave. I can only hurl a spit at the grave of his fucking killer. Take it as a good thing. Remember my words, I will die. And I will die faster than you. And may God be glad enough to let me die faster than many others. By that time, you should change. You should stop being an errand boy and you should be ready to run the family. Whatever, let's drive. All right. So we're in Act Two now. We're playing as Marcus. I want to show you something. Let's go to Belleville Park. So this is uh Frank Sindaco's brother. On uh, uh yeah, and uh what's we call it? So JD's dead, like he died in the original game. And the reason he was whacked in that game was because Salvatore couldn't really trust him because he was uh you know a member of another family and he basically you know he betrayed that family. And why wouldn't he do that to the Leones if something went wrong? And plus, he wasn't 100% Italian. So you have to be 100% Italian to become a made man of, a, of any family. Um, but yeah, here we go. I want to give you a present. Good apartment out here. Got it? It's yours now. Drive me to the casino. Alright, so we got a new apartment. Drive Polly to the casino. So we're on Staten Island now. We're on a whole different island. Um, the second island that we unlocked. So I'm guessing there's three acts in this game. Alright. Finished act one. Oh. Hello. Hello, is this Marcus Sindaco? Right, who is it? Yeah, you're calling because Mr. O'Toole was living there? He died not long ago. Exactly. We are here to remind you that you were stated as, in fact, the owner of the properties he was buying. Of course. We were talking about that with him. All of his property documents are mine. The only issue of the apartment in the red light district. We're repossessing that. Other than that, there should be no problem. We wish... Oh, he hung up on her. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we no longer have the apartment, um... The red light district was was in the club, so we only own this one here. But yeah, we can no longer save in this area anymore, which is it's not a, no big deal. As long as we have one safe house, we're good. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's do some more missions. Wheels of Fate. I would like to give you a little hint, Mark. Yeah, Polly. Vincenzo Chili died during a shootout not a long time ago. His funeral yeah. is already happening today. Tony Cipriani killed him. Win, win, tell me. His hearse is in Newport right now. I know you want your revenge, but don't forget how things may turn out. So if you guys played, um... Liberty City stories. Uh, you guys will know that um, Vincenzo betrayed Tony, and uh, he basically set him up in an ambush at the um, the at the boats in a Come boat on. in a big boat, the big boat that's um, by his place. 
he set Tony up, had a bunch of Leone goons there, and they were trying to kill him because Vincenzo was afraid that Tony was going to take his place down the line because him and Salvatore already had a relationship before he showed up. And when he left, when Tony left, I mean, um, you know, Vincenzo got there and he, you know, uh, made What's his position. Problem, he made, he made, um, he made a bigger, you know, he made, he made his position bigger, right? And, uh, he killed him. He wanted to kill him because of, you know, he was afraid. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm getting jumped. Oh, Marcus, Marcus, come on. Oh man, we only got one gun. Are you kidding me? This is a one shot. Oh my goodness. Damn, bro, go away. Alright, shit. I would have the cops on me. Come on, dude. Get the car. You're just making this worse. Oh wait, we gotta blow it up, right? On to the next one. False talking, Act Two. Ooh. A two-front war is a way to lose everything you have, Marcus. You're trying to give me a hint about peace with someone, correct? Yeah, and between Sal and Franco, I would really prefer the latter one. Hey, wait a minute. You have already tried to sign a peace, and what was the result? Times are changing. Chances to have peace are now way higher. Well, okay, what is the plan? Meet the Capo Sam in the restaurant in Fort Staunton. He should take you to Franco directly. We will think how to proceed later. Now we'll have our moment. Alright, reach the Ferelli restaurant. Oh yeah, I forgot the Ferellis. They're in this game too. So in the original 3D Grand Theft Auto game, right? There was the three families. The Sindakos, the Leones, and the Ferellis. Up until 1990... Uh, no, no, no. 1986, the Ferellis were on top, and then... Um, Sonny Forelli was um, met his fate in, uh, in Vice City. If you guys haven't played that, go check that out. Um, I have a Let's Play on that game as well. Um, and then, what's my call it? And then after they um, stepped down as the biggest mafia in um, Liberty City, that position went to the Leones. And uh, here we are. Sindakos are, of course, the weakest, and then it's the Forellis, and then it's the Leones. Oh shit. Wrong way. I don't, rem I don't really remember this part of the map as much. I don't really go drive down here. Alright. Here we go. Here's the Ferrelli restaurant. Hey, I'm here because of... Oh shit, cops. Wait, the police? It was you calling them here? Guys, it's a Sindaco trap. Alright, lose the heat. Alright, I gotta go. Oh shit, get in the car, drive, 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 drive. Nope. I'm gone. Luckily, I know where a painting spray is. I think from what I remember in GTA 3, this is where, like, the construction site is supposed to be, something like that. Um, Alright, we're approaching the painting spray. We should be good. Alright, Tony's stunt department is right there, actually. Call that a mission pass right there. Come back to the casino that we can do. Wait, what the hell? I could have sworn there was a an exit over here. Never mind. Oh no no no! Wait, it's it's down down there. Oh 
There we go. Oh shit. Swerving in on the taxi. Roll out. And here we go. The negotiations were a failure. You probably know about it already. I know. Tommy says these were Sicilians in disguise. But I don't know the truth. Go. I will handle all this shit myself. Alright guys, I think we'll do maybe a couple more missions and then we'll end off the video. Alright, I think we'll probably do this one next. Flying to arms. Marcus, why all of my friends do not pay me any respect? Remember about me only when they need some help? Maybe they are not your friends anymore then? Hey, when Yakuza arrived at Liberty City, it was me who gave them a new house, protection and money. Speak directly. What is wrong? Yakuza boss Kazuki wants to tell you something personally. He is going to meet you in his place in Torrent. Alright, go to Kazuki's place. So, um, for those of you who don't know, the Yakuza is the, uh, the Japanese Mafia. And, uh, they're- I know people get- might get them confused with the Triads, but the Triads are the, uh, the Chinese Mafia. And the Yakuza is the Japanese Mafia. And, uh, at the Yakuza, I don't think they make any other appearances in other GTA games with the exception of this- oh, well, Liberty City Stories and, um, and, uh, GTA 3. I think that's it, though. But the Triads, they make, a, a a bunch of appearances throughout, um, the games. All right, here we go. I am glad to meet you, Marcus San. One of my best drivers and soldiers, Futoshi, has a problem. His car is stolen. Bring his car back to me, and we can talk about more serious work. I know you might help us, right? I could. Where's the car? Jewelry store in Newport on the backyard. And yeah, wreck the shop, then you can leave it for your family. Come on, I've got houses to sell here. All right. Let's go get the whip. Reach the jewelry store in Newport. Oh man, I need my car of my own first. Come here. Don't throw me, I'm a man. Whenever I park by a mission or whatever, it always takes my car for some reason. Like my car always disappears. Oh my goodness, watch yourself. Yeah, but um, like I was saying, in GTA 3, we um we do meet um other Yakuza bosses like um. Uh, Asuka and uh, Kenji, who are uh, brother and sister and stuff. And uh, hold up, let's run these dudes over. Oh, got him. All right, the re the reinforcements. Will okay, get rid of them. Oh man, I really don't have that much ammo. I think these are the Yardies, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. There we go. Which is a Jamaican gang. They also make an appearance in GTA 3. Oh shit, oh shit. Alright. Get the stolen car. Bring the car back to Kenji's place. Be careful, they can blow it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm fast driving, so we try not to drive too fast. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Alright. Oh my goodness, it's it's one of those cars that if you don't stop exactly, then it'll blow up. Alright, we're almost here. Luckily, we're not getting chased by uh, the Yardies or anything. There we go. My 
car is in my hands again. Wow, thank you, Mr. Marcus. You can now... Wait. Now you can capture business estates from other gangs and mafia families. Okay. Eh, Polly Sandaco, Marcus... Okay. Red signs, enemy estate. Okay. Alright, you have captured a business estate normally. Okay. Revenue. You can collect revenue at any time. Went on a... When, okay. At the base, you can see your statistics, how many businesses and states you have. Oh, that is cool. So they're doing like, um... What the fuck is that shooting? I cannot hear shit. According oh, to these man. sound effects, I've been called from the right place. Where can I meet you? Oh man, so they got businesses now, so... Oh, this is like... SP? Okay, so that's our business. Oh man. Alright, so this is like... Like GTA, um, Vice City Stories' is, um, business systems. Alright, we'll check more of that out, uh, later on. I might check some of this stuff out in my spare time. But, um, alright you guys, I'm gonna end the video off here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you guys give it a like, share, and subscribe. Hey, you aren't busy, ain't you? It's Pauly. You need something? Careful. Of course! Look, here in 1998, only one thing matters. Territory. Territory is business. It's people. Understand me? I'm not dumb. If you want us to have a war with other families, I understand that perfectly. You should understand, we need to start taking over other territory to make things go way smoother, you get me? Me? Attack Leon's business estates. Pirellis Yardy. Anybody. But hey, just do not touch Kazuki, got it? And what's gonna happen next, huh? City and peace. You should give that business to me, so I can use it properly. You can also keep it to yourself, but we'll talk about that later. Good luck. I am an ex-marine, dickhead. Alright, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out.